It shouldn't be too flashy. How about something historical like the Paul Revere? Oh, that could work. What could work? We're thinking of names for the inn we're going to open. I mean, if you want simple, something like the Country Rose. That's pretty good. <gasps> we could line the front path with multicolored roses. Or or the inn by the hollow. Kind of long. No, but nice. How about the money pit? Boo. Oh, the outhouse. Go international. Go back in your home. Oh, the inn heading for bankruptcy. Kind of long, but nice. You who have no dreams, rain on those who do. I say this because I care about you. It's risky what you are doing. Most new businesses go down within two years. I say if we go down after two years, it'll be the most exciting two years of our lives. Same here. Boredom stinks. <laughs> Fine. Proceed blindly. Here. It came in ten minutes ago. It does not involve the independence in. Therefore, delivering it was beyond my official obligations. So I am taking an extra long lunch break. He's so genuine. Oh, my God. What? It's the title search for the Rachel property. And guess who owns it? Tell me it's not that bastard Donald Trump. Fran. Fran from Weston's Bakery? Sweet little Fran, the cupcake lady. Not some cigar-chomping, dirty deal in city slicker. Oh, that's good. Hey, the country slicker. Funny name, cutesy idea. Mm, it's a little much. It's way too much. I'll call Fran. <gasps> Fran's old place. It'll be like Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. People will be trying to figure out who Fran is. <gasps> or the Inn Inn. It's like an inn that's in with the inn crowd. I'm gonna go sit out. Dude, that's sweetie. Okay.